Hello and welcome, this is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm collaborating with some of my crafty friends to share some card making inspiration featuring the latest release from Spellbinders. I'm working with the Coastal Escape View etched dies from the Windows with a View collection by Tina Smith. There are 24 thin metal cutting dies with a large porthole as the window and it has two large circle dies. It cuts a wave, another wave, plus there's shells, flowers, palm trees, an island, tropical leaves, coral, fish, and an anchor. I thought this window would make a fun shaker card. Now I've already cut out all of these die cuts um, out of some white cardstock so that I could color them up. I used the larger circle die to cut out this gray circle, and then I cut a light blue circle from the smaller one. And then for the porthole, I used this um, silver shimmer paper to make it look sort of like metal. And I'm gonna build a tropical island scene and I found this pretty shimmery paper so I cut this out using a circle first and then I added the wave so that this piece could go along the bottom of that blue circle now for my card base I'm using this wood grain heavyweight cardstock and I'm gonna cut it in half at five and a half inches and also score it at four and a quarter inches in order to lift the porthole up off of the card so that the shaker bits can move around I'm using this scrap piece of double-sided adhesive foam that just so happens to be the exact size that I need to cut out this circle. And I'm using the smaller of the two circles and the porthole die. And I'm gonna run this through my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine. And it cut it out perfectly. And I also cut a circle out of some acetate using that smaller circle. And I'm gonna keep the tissue on it so that I can see it. I tend to misplace those if I don't. I've zoomed in some so you can see what I'm doing, but now I'm coloring my die cuts with Copic markers and I have sped this up quite a bit. For my browns, I'm using E33 and E37. And then for the greens, I'm using YG63 and YG67. Now I'm not getting really fancy with my coloring. I'm just basically trying to cover up the white since these will be used for the scene inside the window but I also made sure to run my marker along the edges of each of the pieces, just so that that white doesn't show. Next, I glued down my wave to the bottom of that light blue circle, and I'm using my precision glue press. This is probably my most favorite um, item in my craft room right now and I have to apologize for my voice I've been under the weather <clears throat> and I'm still not feeling <clears> hundred percent <throat> so I apologize for my scratchy voice but I went ahead and glued down the rest of the pieces to make this scene So after placing the circle in the middle of my card base, I removed the adhesive backing from my foam and added additional glue just to make sure that it sticks well. And I tried my best to center it around the smaller circle. And then next I added glue to the back of the metal porthole piece to attach my um, porthole to the acetate. And while that dries, I am adding my shaker bits. Now I've had this bottle of sand in my stash. I don't remember where I got it, but I thought it would be perfect to use for this. But one thing that I should have done before adding it is add some anti-static powder. I also added a few green and blue iridescent toppings. They're like little pearls. And when I went to remove the top adhesive backing, I accidentally knocked it a little <clears throat> so that some of the sand got onto the top of the foam. So again, I added some glue to make sure it sticks. When I tested it out, this is when I realized that I didn't add that anti-static powder because some of the sand was sticking to the acetate. But it looked like it was working otherwise. So after looking at it, I thought it needed a little more. So I decided to bring in some of the tropical elements. So now I'm coloring the anchor using some cool grays, C7 and C1. And then I'm using the same greens for the tropical leaves. 
and RV17 and RV19 for the flower and then for the little um, piece that's in the center of the flower I used Y08. I glued down the anchor on the top left of the window and the flower and the leaves on the bottom right. For the sentiment, I'm using the Birthday Unboxing Sentiment Stamp Set, also from Spellbinders. And I selected the one that says close your eyes and make a wish. I thought this sentiment was perfect because when I close my eyes and make a wish, I pretend I'm sitting on a tropical island lying in a hammock soaking up the sun. But I stamped this using some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink onto a scrap banner that I had lying around that was the perfect size. I added some foam tape to the back along the bottom of the banner and when I placed it on the card, I realized that it wasn't thick enough, so I had to add another layer. For the finishing touches, I took some tan twine and I added it to the anchor. I made a loop and ran it through the hole and then pulled it back through. And then I trimmed it off to be pretty short so it wouldn't get in the way. And I also added some Stickles glitter glue to the center of the hibiscus flower. Off camera, I added some navy pearls to the porthole and on the ends of the banner and this is my card i really love how this turned out let me know what you think if you're interested in this die set or any of the other products that i use to make this card i have all of the links down in the description box if you'd like to make a purchase some of these are affiliate links which means if you make a purchase i earn a small commission at no extra cost to you and this helps to support my channel i hope you'll give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment to let me know you stopped by also, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Be sure to hop along with us by clicking on the link down in the description box or by clicking on the hashtag SpellbindersFeb24Collab at the top. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.